How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Bezo here and welcome to the playlist on how you can build a PC, specifically a Intel 12th generation. Welcome to the first part of this series and what I will be introducing to you is a PC case. So you're gonna need something like it. As you can see, I got the Corsair 4000D Airflow case. I'm excited to open this up. It is a more budget friendly case for everybody to get. And it is a pretty awesome case if you ask me. So let's open this up and I'll show you exactly what's inside. So when you do get a PC case, not only are you gonna be looking for just the price, but it is also a essential part of your PC. You're gonna wanna know what this case offers such as its front panels. Are you looking for USB 3.2? Are you looking for USB-C? Are you looking for a headphone microphone combo? Or are you looking for a split between them? So it's very good to know what you want for a case. And also it is very good to inspect it because you won't believe how many times I opened up these boxes and I found damaged cases. So make sure to double check it. You don't want to build your PC with a damaged case, even if I know you're excited to. Take a look at that right there. It'd be better if they created handles on this, right? As you can see, it comes very nicely packaged. You want to make sure that you have all the parts with it. Uh, looks like it's currently upside down. Let's flip it the correct way. So this case focuses on mostly airflow. So if you're the kind of person that cares about your airflow, the temperatures of your PC, this may be the case for you. It's not really super tall. It's a pretty decent size. It is a mid tower case. And we'll take it out of its plastic here. It doesn't have that same typical boring design. As you can see, the front of it has that nice kind of filter look to it. You can just kind of pull this off and you can see how easy it is to access the filter. Just a metal case. And you got your filters right here. Magnetic filter, you can pull that off and you can see it kind of came with one fan here and it comes with a rear case fan here. Of course, it comes with the instructions as you need for the case. So when you purchase a case, you want to, doesn't matter if it's plastic, doesn't matter if it's steel, doesn't matter if you have USB 3.2, USB-C, doesn't matter that it's more easy accessible, more easily accessible that you can just pop off the front just like you can with this one. These are all important features to look for when you do purchase a case and that if it fits the motherboard that you did purchase. They had different size motherboards, such as uh, EATX, ATX, ITX. They have mini ATX, and they have several other type of ATX form factors. This is all pretty important to know if you are planning to purchase a PC here. Take off this glass panel. Doesn't matter that you have glass panels. That's another thing. Maybe you just want to all fully covered case. Everybody's different. Not everybody is a bit fan of RGBs and that can be understandable too. There's the inside of it and comes with the two case fans inside of this one. And it also, so this particular case, what you're going to look for is if it fits eight, this case fits ATX, micro ATX, ITX, EATX even. If this is something that you're interested in, this is uh, something down in the description box down below that I do have. It is a pretty awesome deal. I got it for uh, $94.99. You could get it on Amazon. I'm gonna take off this side panel on the back here. Because the best thing you could do is when you prepare a case for a build, you want to have all your side panels completely off, your front panels completely off, because it'll just make it that much easier when you are building a PC. Okay, now that is all. Now you kind of want to organize everything pretty neat so you know where everything is. 
and this is what we're looking for here. And inside the drive here, which they typically stick right back here, is where the keep this box at. Comes with Corsair straps here for your wiring. And usually they'll come with the wire ties, uh, more motherboard uh, standoff screws. It will also have the screws to install the motherboard uh, washers for it if, you, is, if it's necessary. But all your basic hardware that you need to install a motherboard on your PC. Now, it only has like three Velcro straps in this but it is everything that we do need. So the best thing to do is to get started is you just wanna keep all the wires out for your front IO. And these wires, what they're meant for is so that way you can connect everything up here, up here for your front panel up top. So you just have to have these out ready to go to install on your motherboard best tips I can give is that you want to organize all your wires really well. You want, just like how they have it set just like this, you kind of want to keep a similar pattern because less wires equals less mess. And you can have a pretty decent design. And if you look closer, you can see different areas where you can have different wire loops or wire ties to where you can tie down these wires and give it a nice look. Over here, you got the back access. If you're installing a CPU cooler, you can install it here, right here, in your case, and it'll make it much more easier because now you don't have to flip around a motherboard and try to do it that way, but you can actually do it right on the case itself if you choose to upgrade it in the future. Also, another thing too to look at is where do you plan to wire your fans at? How will you wire your fans? These are all good different aspects to look at when you are building your PC. As you notice, it will have the filter down here for your power supply. So your power supply will sit here and your solid state drives or your hard drives will sit in this uh, hard drive case right here. Now this case is not uh, large enough. It doesn't have the length to have the side fans on it because it is the 4000D. But this one is specifically made for airflow. So if Corsair does give you the cheaper fans, which does not feature the RGBs, but if it doesn't matter to you, then it's one less thing to worry about really. What I will do is I will probably add one more fan down in the bottom, maybe a Noctua fan, because since these are not RGB, that I, I kind of want to have a uh, more silent approach for it. And then on top, what we will do is we will have the pull side for the CPU cooler. What is also important when you're looking at cases is the length. What, how much length will you have will you, if you're installing a large GPU? Does that matter to you or does GPUs not really matter to you as much? How much fans can you install? What, how large of a radiator can you put in the front of your case? How large of a radiator can you put on the top of your case? And these are all good aspects to look at. So that way you have a good idea on what type of case that you are looking for. But this case is very specific. You can put a 360 millimeter radiator here. You can put 360 uh, radiator here up in the front. The graphics card interference should, it should have plenty of room to fit any large graphic card in here. These are all good features to take a look at, especially if you're trying to build a PC or if you haven't gotten a case yet those are uh, good points to look at but this is the best way to prepare um, a case before you start a build because you want it as bare as possible so fam bam guys I hope you found this content very useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share it with anybody else that you know is looking to build a PC as well and also make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell. 
for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my IG and TikTok as well. So fam bam, guys, make sure you head to the next video because in part two, I will show you how to prepare a motherboard for your PC build.